Hey, what's going on, Virgo? All right, so I'm going to pull the energy for you guys just to see what's going on. Now, I am still running my special, y'all, for um, my Cash App special. One question, $5. Two questions, $8. Three questions, $12. All you got to do is Cash App me and make sure you leave your email. If you don't leave your email, then I can't get back in contact with you. And so your Cash App just becomes a nice, lovely donation, okay? Even if you are utilizing my um, my website, I do not accept appointments. Um, my website does allow you to purchase your reading directly from there, okay? But however, you guys, please, please get in contact with me if you have not left your email um, in your Cash App. All right, now uh, you can inbox me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Sometimes I might be a little delayed because it doesn't really, I don't check the notifications um, on my TikTok. Um, but however, or you could leave a comment, <laughs> you know, on the video. But um, however, keep those things in mind. So Virgo, y'all know how this go. You want to flip the roles, take what you need, leave what you don't need, use the spirit of discernment and never force the message to fit, right? Now, the garden and the gate. I don't know if this is past energy, you know, now energy or future energy. Just get in where you fit in and just know that these messages are for entertainment purposes only, okay? I'm trying to learn how to sit upright because I do slouch a lot, but that's because I do a lot of um, work behind my computer, behind the screen. And y'all, my back is overcompensating. I already got a bone this in my lower back, but because of that i'm literally putting strain on my upper back so it, i'm doing strengthening exercises y'all i'm doing planks i'm doing bridges i'm doing all that stuff i'm in physical therapy and everything y'all to correct this because i also got sciatica okay but um the angel of love card comes out in the reverse position so somebody's playing it safe <laughs> my son just texted me and said hey it's 11 11 and then I seen the fifth chakra in the reverse. So it didn't come out, but I seen it. So somebody is playing it safe. I don't know if it's you or whoever you're connected to. When this angel of love card comes in the reverse, then it's, it's some type of disconnect. Okay. Um, and they're not expressing themselves. They're not saying something. All right. Um, or you could not be speaking your truth here. Now, tell me why. Knight of Swords in a reverse. So somebody is coming in with that Knight of Swords reverse energy, y'all. Um, that's ASI energy coming in. Masculine energy, of course. And when they're in the reverse position, usually it has a lot to do with um it's like they could be I don't want to say reckless, but hell. Yeah, they could be definitely kind of not using logic, um, kind of reckless in their actions. Three of Wands comes out in a reverse, or it just simply is suggesting. Like, well, how can I put it? And I, I, the way I feel with it, with this Three of Wands in a reverse, it's like something that they may have um, been trying to do. Like you know how you're trying to progress, you're trying to move forward, and some type of delays come in. And it's like they may be stagnant. They may feel like they're missing out on the opportunity, okay? What is that opportunity? It's something here that they were foreseeing for their future, all right? And so now it's putting them in this energy, three of cups reverse, where they're isolating themselves. What is the opportunities that this person is looking for? Chariot card, okay? So they are definitely dealing with some type of... Um, they're trying to overcome some type of obstacles. Hmm. They feel like they don't have no control. Or you could feel like this. I feel like this is somebody else's energy. And so a queen of swords came out in a reverse position. So this queen of swords reverse is a trigger. Why does this queen of swords reverse make them feel out of control? Seven of Swords comes out in the reverse. So I feel like the truth is being revealed about this person. 
it's like whoever this queen of swords is this person always made they're deceptive and they always probably you know wear this mask but now some truth is out six of swords in the reverse and it's kind of like triggering them it's taking them in the back back in the past you know and it's like i could be so much further I could be doing this, I could be doing that, and I can't do it now because this person is, has caused me to miss out on an opportunity. Tell me about the angel of love in the reverse. Yeah, the devil card comes out. So, of course... Somebody is in their ego. Um, just an unhealthy habit. That's how I'm hearing it. It's an unhealthy habit or pattern of someone's. And it pushes them into this point where they just isolate themselves. Okay? They try to play it safe. They get all in their head. Right? Queen of Swords in the reverse. They may be overly emotional. Tell me more about this Queen of Swords reverse. Ace of Wands come out. Again, they get all in their head. But I feel like some type of clarity is going to come through. Right. Seven of Swords comes out in reverse again. Y'all. That's that epiphany. Somebody's been literally waiting for a yes from the universe. You know how it's like you're waiting for certain opportunities to happen for yourself and you you putting in the work and you're still being held you're still being stagnant or stagnated or stuck. And it's all involving like other people as well. I feel like this person may kind of be, you know, upset about their circumstances. So let me see something. And the way I'm saying it is also like with this, um, the garden and the gate card coming out. You know how you got to just kind of be bold. You know, you in a new chapter, you got new relationship or you got new something going on. Whatever it is, it could be like an exciting start or, or a new phase, right? And instead of taking a bold step. And stepping outside of their comfort zone or you taking that bold step and expressing your feelings that's where that throat chakra reverse comes in they're not doing it but uh, some type of something is going to come out some type of confession or something's going to be revealed to somebody and they're not doing that with you or you're not doing that with them because of these past situations yeah, the sun card comes out in a reverse, right? It's like it's hard for them to stay positive, even though they're in a new chapter of their life. Even though, you understand, they did get a yes from the universe in some areas. But it's just like they're still, it's hard for them to stay positive because they got some type of karmic connection with somebody. So it's like they're always having to repeat or, or go through the same BS, Yep, Six of Swords in the reverse. And it's very triggering for someone. What is this confession? What is what is coming out to the light? Oh, yeah. Page of Wands comes out. Well. The Five of Swords. So somebody may even talk about this, this conflict, you know, what's bothering them. They may not even keep it to themselves because, again, they're trying to heal. This person is trying to recover um, is how I'm seeing it. But, yeah, somebody in your situation is just literally triggered right now because of some type of past situation. So you, if you feel like whoever you're connected to is very is a little distant or you're distant from somebody, this is the reason why. OK, um, again. You've gotten your yes from the universe. So make or take bold steps. I definitely encourage you to do that and definitely go within y'all.